Hello everyone. I'm pleased to present our latest work, Human Pose as Compositional Tokens. Human Pose estimation aims to predict key points for all individuals in an image. Previous methods often directly predicted the 2D coordinates of each key point or represented each key point as a heat map and then predicted the heat map. Both representations cheat each key point independently, failing to consider the pose as a holistic entity. Consequently, previous methods led to unreasonable predictions. For instance, in the given image, the legs of the man are occluded. The predictions are not satisfying. Therefore, in this paper, we propose a novel holistic representation for the human pose called Pose Compositional Tokens, or PCT for short. We encode the entire pose into discrete tokens through chaining the encoder, decoder, and codebook. By using it, each token is learned to represent a substructure with several independent joints. The compositional tokens can fully leverage the joint's dependencies. As a result, our method predicts reasonable human poses, even in scenarios involving severe occlusion. Now, I'm going to introduce our method in a more detailed way, which is divided into two stages. The first stage aims to learn to represent poses as discrete tokens. Once chained, we can pass the pose through the well-chained encoder and codebook to get its tokens. Likewise, the tokens can be utilized with the aid of the well-chained decoder and codebook to reconstruct the original pose. In essence, we represent the pose using discrete tokens. After successfully obtaining the PCT representation in the first stage, human pose estimation is transformed into a classification problem. In the second stage, the key requirement is to chain a classification network that accurately predicts the tokens associated with the human pose in an image. By utilizing the well-chained codebook and decoder, the predicted tokens can be transformed into the desired pose, thus achieving accurate pose estimation. During the first stage, we chain the encoder, decoder, and codebook through pose reconstruction. Initially, we utilize a compositional encoder to integrate the information from individual key points, resulting in M features. Subsequently, these features are quantized into M tokens using a codebook. The tokens can then be restored to features using the same codebook, and a shallow decoder is employed to reconstruct the original pose. In this way, a pose is represented as a set of discrete indices referring to the codebook. Here is the structure of our compositional encoder. First, the position of each body joint is fed to a linear projection layer to increase the feature dimension. Then, the features are fed to a series of MPL mixer blocks to deeply fuse the features of different joints. Finally, we extract M token features by applying a linear projection to the features across all the joints. Utilizing M compositional features to represent a pose enables PCT to achieve a significantly small reconstruction error at a low computational cost. Once the pose is represented as tokens, the subsequent pose estimation task is simplified to chaining a classification network using cross-entropy laws to predict the categories of the M tokens corresponding to the pose in an input image. Upon obtaining the predicted tokens, the final pose can be obtained by leveraging the frozen, well-chained codebook and decoder. We analyze the learned patterns of the tokens through visualization. After obtaining the tokens corresponding to the black-colored pose, we independently modify each token and feed the modified tokens into the decoder to reconstruct the corresponding pose. We highlight the differences between the modified poses and the original pose using orange color. We observe that ordering specific tokens influences specific substructures of the pose. For instance, in the first row, modifying the first token results in changes to the right shoulder, which subsequently affects the right elbow and the left shoulder. In the second row, modifying the second token leads to the most significant changes in the left hip, which in turn affects the position of the left knee and left ankle. Additionally, we explore the effects of slightly increasing the weight of a particular token to observe if the changes are continuous. We observe that the corresponding substructure can smoothly move, indicating the ability to achieve lower reconstruction errors. Here are more visual results that demonstrate modifying the same token affects consistent substructures of different poses. This finding indicates that our PCT representation truly captures substructures of the pose. Therefore, it becomes possible to infer the positions of occluded key points by leveraging partial key point information from the corresponding substructures. It is the reason that our PCT performs well in challenging occluded scenarios. 
This table shows the competitive performance of our approach on the COCO benchmark, achieving results that are comparable to previous SOTA methods. Notably, because our method does not need any post-processing, our base model achieves the fastest inference speed while maintaining a higher average precision compared to most existing methods. These are our results on the human 3.6M benchmark for 3D pose estimation, which demonstrates the effectiveness of our method in handling 3D pose estimation. On the occlusion dataset, our method has achieved a significant improvement over existing methods. This can be attributed to the fact that our tokens have learned the substructures of poses. Under completely fair conditions, we compared different pose representations and demonstrated that our PCT approach performs the best. Here are more visualizations. In the third image, the legs of both individuals are heavily occluded. Our method can accurately predict the positions of the legs. In summary, we have proposed a novel pose representation called PCT, which represents poses as discrete tokens and transforms human pose estimation into a classification problem. Our PCT method has achieved excellent performance in both 2D and 3D general scenarios, with particularly prominent results on occlusion datasets. Additionally, the discrete representation of PCT potentially facilitates its interactions with other discrete modalities such as text and speech. You can find our code and model by scanning the QR code. That's all. Thank you.